You know, it, I, I always like to pick topics that I'm seeing in the community people are talking about or struggling with or trying to kind of find some answers around. So I thought it would be really interesting to explore confidence today in general and maybe even talk a little bit about our own journeys and sharing our experiences. Um, because I know for myself, I started out with what I would say is zero confidence. My journey to reach confidence has, you know, really evolved a lot. And I want to talk a little bit about that too, about how I reached it and, and what life is like before having it, what life is like after having it, how do we get it, that kind of thing. What do you think, Willow? Yes, absolutely. I'm so excited that we're, we're covering this topic today. I think it, 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 it kind of dives into so many different areas for us as being HSPs. It's such an interesting area for us to explore and to, you know, really kind of check in with ourselves how, you know, confident, what confidence really means for us on an individual, you know, individual level, what authentic confidence means for us and, and what's holding us back. Because, you know, feel it, struggling with confidence, it can be such a, you know, it can be such a sort of a private challenge in our own heart. And it can be a, you know, an ongoing struggle that we're having, and, and it just doesn't have to be that way. You know, we one, once we really take ownership of ourselves and our gifts, and I think there is a, a very natural step into our own sense of confidence that can be, it can be life changing. As I know it has been for you, and it certainly has been for me. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing if we didn't have it, and and that's what I, you know, so much of my mission for. Our community for this, you know, the sensitive community is to be able to help us all rise up to the level that I know that we are capable of. And I don't want confidence to be the, 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 that bridge that we can't cross. So being able to talk about it is going to be helpful. I like to think about, you know, even thinking about when, when we don't have confidence, how might that show up a little bit? I, I see it as, um, it's maybe if you're lacking confidence, you're not able to even know what your needs are or explore them or advocate for them. You might say yes when you want to say no. You might um, have trouble moving forward in, in, in whatever you're trying to move forward in. If it's like not perfect, you're, maybe you're stuck in a fear of failure. Um, maybe you're, um, you're not doing something that you want to do because you're pleasing others. I know I certainly lived my life a long time like that, um, just focused on pleasing others and not even thinking about what I wanted or needed. Uh, and, and maybe you're not believing that you're worthy or good enough. And that was definitely one of my things too uh, early. Um, and, and that impacts everything because if we're walking into situations and we don't feel worthy, or good enough, it's, it's going to impact everything that we're capable of. And, and, and basically that comes down to not living a life that, that honors us and, and that we can live a life that aligns with our values. And even in work, maybe we're not going after the type of work that we want or being able to grow a business or start a business that we want. Kind of having confidence are, you know, when we don't have confidence, these are all areas that can be impacted. Yes, absolutely. I think that's, that's a really good indication that it's an area for a little bit of work or some support exploration. And it, it's, that, it, it's that feeling inside that, you know, we know that we're capable of things. Or perhaps there's that feeling is like this area of my life just isn't working. You know, whether it is in relationships, whether it's in work, you know, whatever it may be, or just day-to-day -day life. If we're feeling that sense of like, you know, there's something more or, you know, I just don't feel like I'm really connecting with myself as deeply as I know that I could be. Mm -hmm. Is a great is is a great indication that there is this there's potentially some self doubt in there that if I do step up and I do share with myself and be honest with myself about what I really need in terms of my career perhaps starting a business or or a relationship then I think that right there that's an interesting place to begin it's you know it's because we know in our hearts when we're not aligned and we're not feeling you know connected with ourselves in in terms of being who we want to be in the world 
and, and it's very, very difficult to avoid that. And actually, that's quite a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful part of being a human being is we're, you know, we're always getting feedback from ourselves and from nature and the world around us when we're not truly being ourselves and really doing what we know is possible for us. And I think that's the indication. It's like, okay, so let's think about, well, what is it that's stopping us from really asking for what we need from ourselves and perhaps from other people, you know, and, and thinking, well, you know, what's, what's underneath that? What's behind that? Is it about the fear of being judged is it about you know um, do I tr- am I do I trust myself in these situations or, or whatever it may be but I think you're absolutely right Gene. I think it's very, very interesting to start with well, what are the indicators and then to kind of look under and say okay well what's perhaps underneath that this material in an excerpt from a longer podcast or video follow link in description to learn more